Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. Last week, I showed you a very cool computer. It was a computer PC stick combined with a HDMI LCD glass display. And you can be walking around with that computer. You can say that's one of the smallest computers in the world. But I can say, as I promised last week, I'm going to show you, the world's smallest computer is actually this one here and this one which I'm trying to develop. I'll talk about this one first and I'll briefly mention this one. Uh, in a minute. Let's talk about this one. This is this computer um, is, has been around for some time. It's called Gould One Pocket Computer. The why it's such a small and cool computer, I would say it probably is the world's smallest computer, is that everything is built into this thing. Okay? This is actually a Window 10. Let's see if you can turn it on. There we go. Um, the screen is only 5 inch uh, in, in, in terms of size. Uh, and it has a lot of uh, connection. For example, here you have an antenna for uh, Wi-Fi. It even have a um, micro uh, audio input to listen to music. Okay, it has HDMI port. It has three USB, one on on this side, and then two on the side here. So three USB altogether. It has SD slots to add more memory. Um, it has a micro USB for trickle charging, uh, like using a battery bank onto this computer. Now it won't be able to charge on its own because uh, if you start adding a lot of devices like a mouse and a keyboard to the USB, then it will drain quite quickly. So that's why it has this AC input. So you can connect to uh, your adapter, do the AC plug, and you can charge it that way. But it only uses five volts. So very little uh, amount of energy required to uh, power this thing. It has a, a volume button here to turn it louder or lower. Uh, it has even, it even have a uh, the network connector here. Okay, so the WAN uh, connection. So it's a wireless connection and a wired connection. You can see that there's so much ability for it to connect to other devices. With three USB, you can connect a mouse, a keyboard, um, a webcam, whatever you want. Now, of course, it's not the most powerful computer in the world. It is very small. However, if you're just serving the web, if you want to check your email, you want to do all sort of low um, kind of standard type of computation, then this is awesome. Like word process is fine. Uh, Excel, PowerPoint, it's fine. But when you start to work on, let's say, Photoshop, I wouldn't think this is the device to use. In fact, the screen's kind of small. Unless, of course, you hook up to a, a, a HDMI connector. But again, still, you know, anything that requires uh, large processing power, this is not the one to do. But next time, actually, I'm going to show you that you can use this device to sync with your, well, I have a Sony camera. I'm going to show you how to use this to connect it to Sony, like for example, Sony A7R 3 That would be so awesome because now you can do all sorts of uh, photography connecting to this small computer and you bring this around. I'll talk about that next week, okay? We're going to deal with that next week. Now, briefly, I want to talk about this one I'm trying to develop. Now, this one is kind of messy, right? Like you can see all these cable uh, connected to it. But that's okay because this is my own version of the Pocket uh, PC. That's also a five inch monitor like this one here, right? This is uh, pretty much built. You can buy this yourself, Google One computer. This one is in development. I'm developing it. It's actually, I'm not, most likely I'm not going to market it. It's just for my own, you know, just curiosity if I can build one. And it seems like I did. I did build one like this. It actually uses a, a PC stick and it has a five inch monitor. The cool thing about this device that's better than this is that it actually uh, power by uh, wireless technology. You can actually uh, charge this with a wireless uh, device. So if you have a like a charging station, uh, I think it's like IQ or QI, I can't remember the name of that uh, wireless station. You put this on and it can charge wirelessly. And um, it has a built-in battery that is much more powerful, like lithium battery, than this one here. So I told you this one lasts uh, around 90 minutes. This one can last for four or five hours. So you can see the advantage, okay? So this one, again, you know, it's for my own entertainment. I really like developing this. I don't know if I want to market this. I don't know if there is even a demand for it. But just knowing that I could build one like this myself without any kind of computer knowledge, like, you know, like engineering and all that stuff, I could build one. It's quite amazing, all right? So anyway, yeah, this is the world's, I would say yeah, it is the world's smallest computer, pocket computer, that has pretty much everything you need to do computing. Next time I'm going to show you, like I said, I'm going to show you how to hook up to Sony cameras. Uh, I'm going to show you how to hook up laser edge printer. 
So you can do that as well. So many uh, applications because it's so small. All right? Thanks for watching. Educate2.com.